Hi, it's Rachel again for another nature workshop. I'm out here because this is where we keep our stash of snail shells and that's what we're looking at today. I also came out even though it was raining because this, as my son pointed out, is the perfect weather for snails. I love for it to be moist. Let's listen for a few more facts about snails. Snails are mollusks, that means they're related to squids and oysters and of course slugs. Now snails have two sets of tentacles, the top one have eyes and the bottom ones feel things. They don't have an ear canal so they can see but they can't hear. The snails have that hard shell that protects them, that shell grows with them as they get bigger and bigger so does the shell. They are very, very slow. They can travel about 45 meters per hour, which means that they're one of the slowest creatures on earth. You've seen snails look like this, but what about this side? If you don't know what's happening here, read the description box below and I'll tell you. One well-known thing about snails, obviously, is their shells are a bit like their home. When they feel scared or nervous or vulnerable, like they're going to be hurt, they zoom back into their shells and feel safe because it's much harder than their bodies. This is my home behind me and I feel really safe here, partly because of the warmth and the structure of the house, but mainly because of my family. That's actually what makes me feel safe when I'm with people that love me. I went to my nature group today and some of the other mothers gave me big hugs and that also made me feel safe, safe and a bit like I was back home. What makes you feel at home? What makes you feel safe? What makes you feel, even if you're feeling vulnerable and scared about something, what makes you feel protected? That's our big question today. What is home for you and why is it home? We had a lot of fun making snail snacks. Now that's not snacks for snails, but snacks that look like snails. We chose round items and long items and put them together to look like snails. We made sure it was food that we would actually eat so it didn't go to waste. But what do you think? Why not have a go yourself? So you might be wondering, where on earth are all the trees? I'm usually in the woods or a field. Well, today I came to my street because I want to show you that you can do nature studies absolutely anywhere. Sometimes you don't even need to leave your house. One time when I lived in a flat that was very near the ground, I used to have slugs come in all the time. They would squeeze through under the walls and under the wood and get into my house. And I'd only know because they would leave slimy trails all around, just like snails. So you can do your nature studies anywhere. You can do this three, two, one challenge anywhere. Or you can go on the internet, use a book, or just think about things that you remember seeing as well. So here we go. I want you to find three things with shells. Think creatively, it doesn't even have to be animals. Three things with shells. Then I want you to find two things that leave a trail behind them. They might be the same as the three things, or you could think of something different, again, Think creatively, there might be some things behind me that leave a trail that aren't animals at all. And number one, I want you to think about one place that feels like home to you. One place that feels like home. It doesn't have to be your house. In fact, there's a challenge. Can you think of somewhere other than your house that feels like home? Are you ready? Three, two, one, where to go? Have you ever tried painting on wet wipes? We discovered by accident the lovely effect it gives and it left us with lots of squares which reminded me of this picture called The Snail by Henry Matisse. So I arranged the squares a little bit like he did on a large model of a snail. We used items we would have thrown away to make the eye stalks and the body and there it is, our lovely snail. So I'm going to go back into my shell, well my home, to have a cup of tea because that is one way that I feel really safe. When I lived in a different country they didn't have the same type of tea, I had people send me over tea bags so that I could sit down and have a nice cuppa and it would make me feel like home. So I'm going to have my cup of tea and you have a go at this quiz. I've got three questions about giant African land snails, are you ready? True or false, giant African land snails only eat plants. False, they are omnivores. They even eat other snails sometimes. True or false, giant African land snails are the biggest snails in the world. False, the sea snail called the giant whelk is actually the biggest, but they're the biggest land snail. True or false, they don't have teeth. 
false. They actually have thousands of tiny teeth. I never knew that. You learn something new every day. This is a quick activity we did while listening to a video about snails. We painted in these pictures and then we used the spiral pattern of the shells to make some quick frames and there we have it, a lovely little snail display. Well, I finished my cuppa and we finished our workshop. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.